Going to be making some mince pies today, really yummy dish, really simple to do. Now we're actually going to make our own pastry, really simple, just use a bit of caster sugar, plain flour, a bit of butter, pinch of salt, and maybe a little bit of beaten egg. Now once we've made the pastry, we've got the mince meat there. Now there's no meat in there, it's all sort of yummy things like raisins and sultanas and apples and it's bursting with Christmas flavours. Try and buy a really nice one, pay that little bit extra and get the good one. So I'll just run you through the ingredients. First one we've got is some caster sugar, got about one third of a cup full, I've kind of measured it out there in one of these sort of cups here. One third of a cup full, 80 ml, which is roughly about five heaped dessert spoonfuls. Then I've got six times the amount of plain flour. Now there's actually two cupfuls there. So as I say, six times as much plain flour to caster sugar, six to one. Then we've got some butter. You can use margarine, that's great as well, as long as it's good for baking. Now we're actually gonna use just over half of that, about 150 grams. This block is 250 grams. So what I'd say is just cut it slightly past the middle and use the bigger piece and that's about right. And over there I've just got a beaten egg. Now I might add a little bit of that actually into the sort of flour sugary mix with the butter just to kind of help it sort of bind together a little bit. And then we're going to use a little bit of the beaten egg just on top of the mince pie because we want to give it a nice glaze and it'll look lovely. Now apart from a little pinch of salt, we've got the main ingredient there, that's the mince meat. I mean, obviously these mince pies, you don't just have to have at Christmas. You can have them any time of the year, because obviously we're making our own pastry, and that jar will keep for ages, so you can use that any time you fancy them. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the actual pan. It's like a Yorkshire pudding one, but this one's got a rounded sort of bottom, but you can use the ones for Yorkshire puddings, or you can have bigger ones like for muffins. So use what you've got. If you want to go and you know, make these regular, then obviously maybe buy yourself one of these with the rounded bottom, ideal. Now with the pastry, I'm going to be cutting the pastry out with these pastry cutters. Very cheap to buy, just one or two pounds. And they come in three different sizes. Now I've kind of measured mine out, and I'm going to use the very big one, because it is bigger than the actual hole itself. And you know, there's a little ridge around there and a beautiful pattern. And then we've got the, the medium size, which is really just about the same size of the hole. This is the lid, and this is the base, which needs to go inside. I'm not going to use the small one, because it's just a little bit too small. So you measure those up, depending on the sort of pan that you've got. Now, if you didn't have these nice little pastry cutters, there is other ways of doing it. You could use, for instance, like a glass, which you can see is sort of bigger than the hole, and I've got a little cup there, which is again, just about the same size of the hole. Just have a look around your cupboards and you find something. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna clear the decks, and we're actually gonna get on and make this delicious pastry. Now I've got myself a biggish bowl that we're gonna mix up our pastry. So I'm just gonna put in all the ingredients we're gonna use. First thing I've got going in, I'm gonna use the plain flour, and we're gonna use two cupfuls. Then I've got the caster sugar, and we're gonna use one third of a cupful, then I'm going to use the butter, or you can use margarine, and I've actually got 150 grams, so it's just over half a block of butter. Then I'm just going to use a little pinch of salt. Don't go overboard, just a little bit. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start mixing this up. Now I'm actually going to use a wooden sort of fork here. You can use a metal one, it's just that, you know, on the video it makes a lot of noise if you use a sort of metal fork. So we're just going to sort of break that up and get the flour mixed in with it really. And then afterwards, I'm going to use my hand and start rubbing it together. So just break it down a little bit and try and mix it with the flour. So I'll carry on doing that. Now I've just been breaking up some of those bigger lumps, mixing them with the flour. Now I'm then going to just add probably about a third of an egg, a beaten egg, a third of one of the eggs. We're going to use it a little bit later for giving it a glaze. So again, just give it a mix up and then we're going to get our hands in there. The reason I'm using the egg, because I think it just helps to sort of bind it together a little bit more. So I'm just going to get my hands in there and kind of grab it and make this pastry. You don't want to overdo it. Try and rub the butter into the flour and break it down as much as you can. So I'll do this briefly really, just enough time to kind of get it all together into a, like a little ball really. I'll just move that slightly back into view. And you see I've got it into a nice sort of ball there. Look at that. There's your pastry, all ready to go. What I'm going to do is just put a bit of plain flour on the surface and we're going to rub it out 
and make sure obviously we've got enough of the pastry flattened out to uh, to do the the mince pies so we've got the pastry mixer and we're going to roll it out now I've got my roller there sort of wooden roller always quite useful just rub a little bit of plain flour on the actual roller sprinkle it on top of there and just roll that now I've rolled out the pastry but what I'm going to do is make the base first so I'm going to use the bigger one of these sort of pastry rings and I'm just going to chop off basically 12 of those all the way round and then anything that's left we can obviously mix it back together again and then we can make the lids and try and make sure you've got 12 so I've got the 12 bases all done I'm just going to move the camera a little bit just so you can see them all there you go now I've obviously got my pan there now what I'm going to do is just put some margarine so I'm literally just going to grab some of your fingers just wipe it round try and get a good layer in all of the little holes just make sure you've got plenty on there we don't want the thing sticking and then we're just going to put the actual pastry bases in the bottom I've got the pastry bases there and don't worry if you've got a little crack in there just add a little bit of pastry in there simple as that because nobody's going to know because it's inside anyway isn't it so just pop a little bit on there wherever you feel that it's a bit broken at the bottom don't worry we're going to fill it with a nice sort of filling and then put a little lid on it nobody will know the difference the base is just very gently pop them down like that ready to receive all that lovely Christmas flavoured mint meat we're going to put in so they're really ready and we're just going to put the filling in and add the lids on so I'm just going to roll re-roll and make all the lids so we've got the little lids on top so I've got the 12 lids made there because we're now going to put the mint meat inside the pastry bases now obviously I've got my mince meat here and I'm just going to scoop some in each of them it doesn't matter exactly how much you've got on just put you know a bit in each and try and fill it up try and get as much as you can in there squash it down a little bit so I'll just do that for all the rest and then we'll just pop the lid on there just squash them down these are going to be lovely now just to show you we've actually done six of them at the moment and I've got about half a jar left now what we can do if you like you can add a little bit of whiskey or in my case a little bit of brandy I don't mean very much I'm actually going to add it into the jar because I'm going to finish off this jar so I'm going to add a teaspoon just a small amount of brandy and it's going to make it absolutely delicious so they've got a choice of two then they can have the normal ones or they can have the ones with brandy and they think you've been cooking all day so what we're now going to do is to pop the lids on just use the knife and a little bit of flour just to lift them up save them sticking just try and get them in the middle there and we're going to do that for all of them so we've got the 12 there now what you can do is just use the again the knife you don't want to touch it too much with your hands and just squash them all down like so I mean it doesn't matter if they're perfect because they're going to be so yummy they're not going to worry too much and also we're going to put a sprinkle of sort of icing sugar on there so it covers up a lot of mistakes they're kind of rustic so I've nearly done all those and then we're going to just pop a little bit of egg on there now I've got the lids on them I've got my beaten egg and my brush there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush over the top you don't have to sort of use the egg to actually try and join it like normal pastry because it will kind of bond together anyway so don't worry just put it over top and then we're going to pop this straight into a sort of preheated oven and they're going to be beautiful and tasty so I'm just going to pop the mince pies in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius which is about 400 degrees Fahrenheit gas mark 6 for about 20 minutes until you've got a nice sort of golden colour on top now I've been cooking those for about 20 minutes I'm just going to pull them out and let you have a look oh look at that nice golden brown colour the aromas when you open up that oven door are beautiful smells Christmassy already now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull those out and put them onto you know the table I'm going to leave them for at least five minutes just to settle down so that 
when we pull them out hopefully we don't break too many of them any you break up you're allowed to eat so I've left them for about 10 minutes 15 minutes it doesn't really matter let them cool down firm up a little bit and it should make them a lot easier to get out of the pan put them on a plate and then we're going to sprinkle them with a little bit of icing sugar you can see that's really loose already look they're coming out really easy that's great so I'm just going to do that for all of those I'm going to pick one of those up look at that beautiful so I'm going to serve those up on a plate put a little bit of icing sugar and they're going to be absolutely delicious now I've got them all laid out there and they look really nice now I'm just going to use I'll just show you that a little bit of icing sugar and I'm going to use my sieve because I don't want sort of big lumps going on there so just kind of shake that give it a bit of a sprinkling Ooh, a bit of dust coming out there I've had this icing sugar for a while I haven't made these for a while but it makes it kind of Christmassy just shake that around ideally do it in the middle of the table so you don't get it on the floor like that now I think it would be unfair if I didn't actually try a little bit so I'm just going to show you this one look nice golden brown colour I'm just going to bite a little bit hmm oh lovely hmm this is the one with the brandy really nice and see it's got plenty of filling the short crust pastry is great a little bit dry on its own so what you might want to do is just serve it up a little bit of brandy butter or you know a bit of ice cream or maybe custard hmm but if you have a cup of tea with it I think it would be really nice enjoy